Legitron, son! My name is Kuroki. I run my own business using a computer. This all happened when every home still had ADSL connections. Kuroki-kun, my TV isn't working. Okay, I'll come by later and take a look. Your remote is out of batteries. Oh! My friendly neighbor sometimes asked me to help her with tech stuff, and I didn't mind helping her, but one day... Coming! Probably Mrs. Yuri again. I headed towards the door. Hello! You're Kuroki-san, right? <laughs> they were old ladies who I'd never seen before. Who are they? Turns out, Yuri-san told her friends about me. I'm not good with these things, so he helps me out. He's really helpful. He's a good man. Ow! And the rumors spread. Yuri-san told us about you. You had a lot of computers, right? Give me one! Teach me how to use computers! You have money too, right? Give me money! And so, that's why they came to see me. Um, I'm not sure what she said about me, but... Yuri-san and the others, they're good neighbors who helped me out. So I return the favor from time to time. I don't even know you guys. I can't help you. <sighs> Fine, so useless. He came all this way for you. What do you expect from a shut-in? Whatever. What the hell is their problem? Weird old ladies. A few days later, someone broke in while I was out. What? Gone! My computer? All my apps? My printer? The miniature safe? They were all gone! Words can't describe how I feel. <laughs> Fortunately, they didn't touch my server, so my data and apps were safe. <laughs> Lucky you! What are you talking about? I had one of the best computers available at the time. In the safe, I had my bank documents, cards, and bonds. Mommy, look at this strange man! This sucks! Tsuji, no! But I had an idea who was responsible. I bet it was one of the old ladies that came over the other day. Right after getting a new computer, I looked something up. They said they wanted a computer, so they probably didn't sell it. I had something installed on my computer. Unlike today, back then, you needed an IP address to connect to the internet. An IP address is like a number given to the computer. Whenever there was a bad connection and I got disconnected, the number would change, which was annoying. So I made it possible to periodically check the current IP address. It's okay if you don't understand what I'm saying. What I mean by all this is... There we go! Their screen! I could see exactly what they were doing. The culprit was just surfing the net. Hello? Could you come over? I called the police and showed the screen to the officer. See? Someone is using my computer! Find out who and arrest them! However... Uh... But how do I know who's using it? Huh? That's what I'm asking you to find out! Can I borrow this computer then? What? No way! I need this for my job! Uh, then... If you can control that computer remotely, why don't you just type in a message saying, Hey, can I have my computer back? <laughs> I gave up. The police was useless. Screw them! I'll do it myself! I looked everything up myself. And then... Just as I thought, it was one of the old ladies that took my computer. Her name was Azami, and her husband was using the computer. <laughs> I told the police, but... But I'm not sure if I can use this as evidence. Yeah, whatever. Just as I imagined, they were still useless. Alright then. I found the culprit, but the police won't do anything. Hmm. What should I do? I was thinking about my next move. Why don't you just type in a message saying, Hey, can I have my computer back? Then I remembered what that police officer said before. All right. Where am I? I want to go home. Please take me home. And the computer comes alive. Oh, they deleted it. Take this! I kept sending them messages, and they kept deleting them. After a while, they turned off the computer. Ah, oh, they're back at it again. Whenever they turned it on again, I knew. So I kept sending them messages. 
I started enjoying this. Yay! Fun! I used all kinds of technology to harass them. Even when they turned it off, I controlled the computer remotely and turned it back on, then back off. I played the sound of a woman crying late at night. This must be terrifying. I made it so whenever they turned on the computer at night, a blood-soaked hand showed up as the wallpaper. I even increased the number of hands by the day. This is a great way to blow off some steam during work. About a week passed since I started harassing them. They stopped using the computer altogether. Well, I'm not surprised. I think we're done here. He'll probably pull the plug. To add the final touch, I remotely installed a sound player application. It was a text-to-sound app, but the sound was terrible so I couldn't use it, and I just had it saved in my computer all this time. Turn this all the way up, then turn this up over here, and... done! Ugh. All right, bedtime. What did I send them? Ah! It turned on again! Why does it turn on on its own? And why does the wallpaper keep changing, Azami? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You're the one who brought this computer home! <gasps> I remember now. When the local police won't do anything, I can just go to a higher ranking office like the prefecture police and ask them for help. My friend told me once. I have a day off tomorrow. I guess I'll go. Kuroki! What the hell is going on? Yeah, stop messing around! What's wrong with you? Giving out cursed computers to others! Huh? My computer! Look at what they've done to you! I didn't give you anything! That lady stole it from me! What? What did you say? Yeah! Azami was going to pretend like she was innocent. There was no talking to her. It was 3 a.m. Hearing them yelling, the neighbors started to gather to see what was going on. What the? What is it? Someone even called the police. What is it now? Mr. Kuroki, you again. <sighs> Oh, what do you mean, again? This is the stolen computer I was telling you about, and these people are responsible! Really? What are you saying? This man gave it to my wife! He gave it to you, is that right? Hmm. I think... Please come down to the station. Winner! Later, the police searched Azami's house. They found other items she stole from me. Sorry and she admitted to the crime. Her husband was shocked, to say the least. Please withdraw the victim report! <laughs> he asked me to show mercy. Well, if you pay for everything, including damages, I decided to settle. But apparently, that lady was stealing stuff from other houses too. Prison. So she ended up going to jail anyways. By the way, um... They're saying the computer came alive and that their family got cursed. Do you know anything about that? They were freaking out. I didn't really understand what they were saying. <laughs> uh... I don't know. They probably just launched the horror game I had installed by accident. How am I supposed to know what they were doing with my computer? I didn't tell anyone about how I messed with them. So rumors went about saying that the computer came alive and tried to go home. Today... Everyone in the neighborhood knew about this incident. They call it the case of the cursed computer. ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。無数のものはノートパソコンではなくてデスクトップパソコンなわけですよね。そして他にも小型とはいえ、金庫などもの済んだわけですからたくさん盗んでますよね。これだけの量を女性一人だけの力でど